Now... Shit! Uh, pardon my French. That would be mad, wouldn't it? Who are these women? I say women, as they must be blue. Numerous, if not legion. This is the third time. No, the fourth. Since Christmas, when I started counting, I believe it was at your office party. It can't be that they don't know any better. I mean, not just everybody comes in here. One expects to meet a certain, I, I hate to use the word, class of patron at a place like this. And no one, no one along the way has taught the savages that despite one's justifiable <laughs> distrust of public toilet facilities, <laughs> proper response is not to protect the chasteness of one's thighs. Can thighs be chased from the possible <laughs> upper limb, possibly lurking on the toilet seat by what? Squatting? several inches above the seat and spraying urine on the seat, thereby spoiling it for any subsequent use and thereby also, most importantly, creating a hygienic hazard only heretofore imagined, suspected. <laughs> oh, these women, these are the same females who clutter the advice columns in the newspapers, you, you know, Dear Abby and all that, well, whoever writes it now, she's dead, isn't she? <laughs> who leave the toilet seat up? At least those men managed to drop most of the product into the bowl. <laughs> Their oversight can easily be remedied by repositioning the seat. An annoyance, hardly a health hazard. <laughs> what happened to the sisterhood and all that feminist cant about solidarity? <laughs> it seems the first unwritten commandment of the sisterhood should be, thou shalt not soil where another will sit. <laughs> Man, there, I've said it again. Call it by its rightful name. <clears throat> Hey, Henry! <laughs>